during a pregnancy in some women where group B streptococcus can ascend from the vagina through the cervix and into the placenta and, and actually invade the amniotic fluid in the fetus, it can cause preterm birth, sepsis in the fetus, and even stillbirth. And these are the main clinical outcomes that we worry about um, from group B streptococcus that, we're, that we will try to prevent with going forward with a prophylactic therapy or a vaccine. So whenever there's a bacterial invasion, neutrophils are the first host immune cells that respond to bacterial invasion, and their role is to kill the invading organism. So apart from doing that, what they do is they, they're short-lived cells, and they die. And as they die, they will extrude their contents to form what are called neutrophil extracellular traps. These are traps that are made to ensnare the bacteria to prevent further dissemination. So what we found was that group B strep makes a hemolysin, which is actually a lipid molecule, and this molecule induces neutrophil cell death. So when it does that, it's promoting neutrophils to make these traps. So the role of the traps is to ensnare the bacteria and then kill them because they have antimicrobial components. However, group B strep uses the same pigment to resist the action of these nets. And so by evading neutrophils and by evading nets, they're rapidly trafficking from outside the placenta into the amniotic fluid and infecting the fetus.